I called a buddy of mine, uh, an NFL agent, and I said, "Hey, he lives in Houston." I said, "Hey, I'll be back Sunday." I said, "You gonna be you going to the game?" He said, "Nah." He goes, "You want to go?" And I wasn't even thinking about going. I was thinking I'd meet him at a sports bar or something if you want to watch the game. And then I was like, "Well, I mean, I mean, yeah." I said, "Where are the seats?" Because I said I don't want to sound bougie, but I don't want to be a nosebleeds. I'll, I'll sit nosebleeds maybe for a Bengals game, but that's it. He goes, "No, no, I'll, 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 I'll get you in a suite." And I didn't know what suite he was talking about. He gets me in touch with Bun's B, Bun B's people. I get to sit in his suite. Uh, he got trail burgers in the suite. Listen. And I'm not just saying this, uh, just to say it or to get on someone's good side. Those trill burgers are trillicious. Oh my god! Because I had, he said, I said I never had one, and Bum was like, "What?" He goes, "Man, we sell them at the stadium now." And we was talking about uh, why he got in the restaurant business, and I, I asked him, I said, "Yo, is is airport like? Is that like the? Where, I always thought the airport was where you want a." Uh, restaurant, fast food spot, because I'm thinking you're, there's always traffic, constantly. And people are always trying to eat at airports. Uh, he goes, he goes. well, and Bun broke it down. He goes, well, if you, if you got a bar, that's what makes all the money. Not all the money, but a lot of the money. Because like people are always trying to have drinks at airports. I never thought of it like that. And then I realized every time there's a sit-down restaurant, there's usually it centers around a bar at most airports. We just talking about that, and I said, man, I've never had your trail burger yet. And he was like, what? And I was like, dude, the line's too long. I always hear about the line. He goes, man, Gary, just just if you're going to go, we, we'll make sure you get in. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to be that. I don't want to be going there that one day that the one security guard was like, nah. Because <laughs> I heard those lines are epic at Trail Burger. And sometimes, sometimes like, like Pink's Hot Dogs in L.A. When I first got to L.A., I waited in line. Unimpressed. That was Hormel. It, was, it wasn't that great. Voodoo Donuts in any Portland, Austin, and then you get it and it tastes like a donut. You're like, why did I wait in line? It tastes like a donut. What was the point? I got some Oreos on it or Captain Crunch. It still tastes like a donut. So like, like that type of deal. And, and this is not a knock on voodoo donuts. Believe me, they're still good donuts. It's just, I don't want to wait in line like that, especially in Portland. It's ridiculous. Uh, but there's some places like you go and there's always a line. I'm trying to think. Um, you guys, you, I'm sure when this airs, you guys will tell me like what restaurants have long lines. But Trill Burgers, anyways, have these long lines. So that's why I've never gone. And then I had it. I'd wait in line for that burger. That's how good it was. And I, we didn't have the sides. But I, now, that I, now that I had the Trill Burgers that are Trillicious, then I went to the website and started following my Instagram. The onion rings look amazing, too. I ain't had them yet. But I got a feeling when I have a cheat day, my next cheat day is going to be at Trill Burger. That's how good. It, and I'm gluten-free. I ate the hell out of that bun. And I had nothing on it. Like, I, you know, because it's prepackaged. It's in, like, a foil. So I opened it. And then I was like, oh, I, probably, I was looking around, like, maybe I should put ketchup or mustard on it or something. Then I just bit into it to see what it tastes like. You don't need nothing. As is. I think they got some onions in there or something. I don't know. And it was smashed. I like those smash burgers. They're so much better when they freaking flatten them on the grill, the iron. They're so good. So shouts out to Bun B. Who knew rapping would lead you to the burgers? You know? That's what I always tell people, man. You never know where it's going to take you. Guys that try want to be athletes, you might not make it in the NFL, but it might lead you to somewhere else. Coaching, announcing, who knows? Bun B, rapping, burgers. Who would have thought? I'm just telling you, when Bum, I guarantee you, when Bum B start rapping, he wasn't thinking, I'm going to have a burger joint, a, and a good burger joint at that. They were good. They were really good. I think you guys get the picture. They were pretty good. I had one, and then they put they put us on the Jumbotron. It was me, Cat Williams, Drewski, Bun B, and they put us on the big Jumbotron, and then I grabbed the trail box and grabbed the burger. And I was like, that's the best promo you ever got, Bun. And then I ate that burger. I had two. <laughs> and I left in the middle of the fourth quarter. It was a blowout. So I had two burgers in like two hours. And don't regret it. At all. It was that good. So shouts out to Bun B and your Bun B Trill Burgers. It's really good. I'm going to try the onion rings too. So, again, free promo, Bun. You're welcome.